Michael Oliver, also from Child Oakford and the man who started the great Dorset Steam Fair, loves to seek out other local steam enthusiasts and visit their prized possessions. Mike, this piece of fairground machinery is going to attract anybody into steam engines and things, isn't it? Yes, I'm sure that the fairground organ is really the good old sound of England. I think that it attracts people from all ages, especially the older generations. People years ago had nothing to look forward to by the fun fair coming to their local area, and uh, the fairground organ has always really been a chirpy little instrument that covers every aspect of a happy life. <laughs> One of the finest steam engines in the area belongs to the Field family. It's the sister to Michael Oliver's own engine, and although not the fastest, is one of the most loved and best kept engines in the county. Once you're hooked on to steam engines or the power of steam, nothing will move it. There's no question about that. Yes, they get a bit war, and then you get steam going up the wrong side of the piston, and they jump and jerk a bit. But uh, usually they're like big shire car horses. They're very, very docile. I often think that uh, Ford Cortinas in uh, Austin Metro's, I don't know what they're going to be about in 75 years' time, still running, ticking over like a watch. But uh, I'm pretty near certain that uh, the craftsmanship that went into these machines is there forever. The thing is about uh, steam engine enthusiasts, they come from all walks of life. I mean, our president is an eye surgeon. We've got railway porters, we've got farm workers. We've got all walks of life. And they either fit the steam scene within the first three months or they seem to disappear. <laughs> I was born and bred in Gold Hill Farm, 200 yards up the road there. We got two mile of fishing down the river there. We got our own land that runs down through. And it's the richest grazing land in the world, you know, even more so than Holland and New Zealand. I love it here. Simon Harvel is well known in the area around Hambledon Hill and far beyond. Grandson of a fishmonger and born in Fordingbridge in Hampshire, he came to Ewan Minster over 16 years ago and set up a butcher shop in the heart of the village. Obviously very good quality as well. Well, they sign you right. Yeah. Um, and they would like. Oh, you got to have four of them, please sign them, please. Yes. I'd always wanted to work in a butcher's shop. I used to pass one nice little shop in Fordingbridge on the way to school. And um, when I was 13, they very kindly gave me a job on Saturday mornings, delivering. I'm going to have you stay in your minutes. It's a nice place to be, anyway. That's right, yeah. There we are. Four nice English land loin That's jobs. That's been perfect, thank you. And that's 3.31, Joyce. Thank you. People's tastes have changed. The cuts of meat are, I think, different now. The quality of the meat, I think, is a lot better than it was a few years ago. And people demand different types of meat. We use approximately four to five sides of beef a week, about three pigs and upwards of 20 lambs and 40 to 50 fresh chickens. We deliver once a week to our immediate villages, and um, I suppose the vast majority of our customers are retired, and we get people from a reasonable distance away. Um, we've sent meat abroad to New York and also to the Middle East, um, people that can't come home and are planning for English beef or, or whatever. But yes, we get people regularly from 30, 40 miles away.
Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Simon. That looks very good. Would that be enough for ten people, you yes, think? Yes, certainly, Mr. Yeah? Schwartz, yes. Very good. I think I still owe you some money yes, from sadly last you month. Do. Sadly, you do, Mr. Schwartz. So, yeah, I always owe you money, don't we? We try and buy from local farms. Um, our pork comes from Tarrant Gumville, and they're all free-range pigs. Um, the beef comes from within the Ewan estate, and lambs from two neighbouring farms, and our free-range chickens come from Mockham. So everything within sort of five miles, uh, apart from specialist foods, we import. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want the one in the front. No, that's no. it. No, different kettle of fish. Yeah, well, we'll have the... Um, the other six. I wouldn't swap positions for the world, and I'd like to stay here till I retire. Yeah, thank you very much. Monday is market day in Sturminster Newton, and the town bustles with the comings and goings of animals and people. Monday is also the day that the local women's institute runs its weekly market here. Florence Wallace looks after the craft stall and has been coming to Sturminster Market ever since it was first started. Well, the WI markets themselves started back in the 1914-18 war when food was in very short supply and people the WIs themselves got together and said, well, can't we do something about it? So they decided that anyone had a garden and had anything surplus to bring it and they would sell it. So that's really how they originated. But here we've had a market now for 21 years in Sturminster itself. Because it's a WI market, people tend to think that it is only women, but anybody can bring anything in providing they become a shareholder. And that doesn't cost them very much. About five pence, I think it is now. Good morning, everyone. Are we ready? Yes. We've always had cakes and vegetables and flowers. Handicrafts haven't been in it quite as long as some of the other things. We've got orange. Lime and ginger marmalade. Sounds good. <laughs> the regulars are not particularly interested in the craft stall when they come in at first. They rush for their cakes and their vegetables, but they know it's there if they particularly want anything. But it's mainly the holiday makers that are interested in the craft stall. Do you know anything about the Dorset Feather Stitch? No, I don't. Oh, well, it, it is uh, unique to Dorset. You won't find it anywhere else, only in Dorset. That's an apron. Lovely, isn't it? And it's almost it's like so a blanket stitch, then, that that's you do That's right, around. yes. Oh, if I stopped going to the market, I would miss the company. We'd miss all the gossip, because it's surprising how many people just come in there to gossip. Quite fun, really, sometimes you wouldn't hear half the what's going on in the, in the surrounding district if it wasn't for the WI market, I'm sure. of the hills and countryside of North Dorset is that time seems to pass at a slower rate than in much of England. If you stand on Hambledon Hill and look around you, the breathtaking view has changed surprisingly little over the centuries. <laughs> 